Let's get started now. Bear with me, I'm going to turn the volume down a bit because it was very loud in my headphones. Alright, so we're researching automatism, so we're going to make some red and green sides packs. So I want to set up two supply lines, each with one assembly machine. Okay, I think I'm going to put them down. Used to pop by there. I shouldn't be doing this at night time, but you know. Sort of like oh bugger. Oh, no, oh, nice. Uh yeah, so it's not just the uh, element of setting up supply lines, you actually have to um explore as well. So let me just make some more bullets before I get killed again. Oh, again. I was killed in my first stream, I suppose. ever want to catch up on other streams that I've done uh, I'm gonna be posting them onto my YouTube channel and the first one is already up and this one will come up go up as soon as it's pretty much ready Look at this. 
so. Oh, hey, Carrie. Thanks for stopping by. Just say I was tempted earlier to get uh, Fall Guys. Um, it just looks, looks like so much fun to stream that one. But I didn't because I. <laughs> about labs is that you can actually chain them. So you don't need to supply them both with uh, a path of science packs. As long as you supply one and that one can then supply the other ones. But it still needs power. It's just that. Alright, so this one will be fairly simple. This one's uh, just the red science packs. Okay. Oh, so you know what? Let's right one do that. Oh, Carrie says, I think the sound effects in your game are overpowering your voice. I can hear you a bit a little hard to understand what this uh when the sound effects pick up. Alrighty, um what I'll do is I'll uh change the sound effects down. Or I'll just change the master down. Maybe not that quite that low. I'm gonna keep the music high. Alrighty, there we go. Is that a bit better? green ones. Ah, perfect. Thanks, Carrie. Ah, uh, of course I need to research them to be able to make them. Sure. Alright, well, that while they're making, or while that's researching, let me just get the supply line for them set up. We need transformer belts and inserters. Which is iron iron. Iron, um, iron copper. All right, so let's put a splitter in copper line. And I find it's a bit easier to work backwards on this, so sort of make your factory that you want one thing to uh, to produce and then actually supply it afterwards because then you can sort of wrap your head around it a bit more okay so this one's going to be taking those which needs then the proper wire which this is going to be supplying It's going to chuck on alt mode as well. Um, if you hit alt, then you can actually see superimposed on the uh, assembly machines what it's making. That makes things a bit easier. And I am just realised I'm one off. This needs to be creating inserters. This needs to be creating the circuits. And I need a third one. The uh, wires. Okay. 
apologies, forgot to leave spaces here. <laughs> So I have to admit, after the calamity of last week's uh, stream, I actually did do a practice run. So I am a little bit faster than last time. <laughs> and inserters just need bits and wheels. We're already making wheels here. Box rather. So that was best to get them here. Once that chain fills, then it'll no longer really matter. Awesome. Oh, that's all okay. Okay, since I've taken away my nest, I'm just gonna get rid of these just to get rid of it.
And because this is just still the tutorial, it's limited the world to just this square in the map here. So I don't have to worry about aliens anymore. In the main game, I would not be removing my walls. At least not without uh, making it a wider one. This iteration is doing well-ish. I think I might just add two more. No, one more. Maybe just to make sure. Well, that says, wonder if that was a fog of war type thing. Uh, yeah, so in the main game, uh, it is. And uh, as soon as, obviously, like Vlog of Water, as soon as you get near it, it will reveal. Um, but for the purposes of the tutorial, you are land limited. So I'm going to set up another supply line for red science bats. Okay. Here. So does that make sense? Uh, you don't want to be overwhelmed with a massive landmass first trial. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, and if it were still revealing, that it could reveal, or it most likely would reveal more alien nests. Even though technically in this game we are the alien, they are the natives. But uh, it's a uh, habit I keep on calling them aliens. Mm. The builder for yourself. That's never a good idea. I've seen that before. The pride flow emoji. Is that a green and white stripe? I'm not sure which flag that is. says, yeah, I unlocked it for subscribing to someone during Pride Month. Ah. Also get them when people subscribe to me. A few of them, but did not unlock them all. Uh, I didn't actually realise that you got um, emojis for, um, for people subscribing to yourself. Oh wow, that is a lot. <laughs> Penguin, Pride Flower, Pride LGBT, and Pride Crown. Cool. Getting more uh, into crowded here. <laughs> well, Carla, you'll just need to um, you'll just need to follow and subscribe to people like all the time. <laughs> I don't think I have many emojis. I'm, uh, I'm, I don't tend to use them much anyway. Even 
more. Uh, Pride Wave, Pride Unicorn, and Pride Dragon. I'm definitely thinking I'm gonna um, make some emojis uh, for, my, for my channel at some point. Um, however, that will be later on down the line. I think you have to be affiliate first. So, so yeah, that'll be later. Let's uh, chuck in a long handled inserter. Same problem uh, that what I was going to do was going to make where it was take iron or the cog, or I end up taking iron instead and block it. So, so at this point, I do need to fix this side. does tend to do that and it's uh yeah you always think like when the music swells that something's gonna happen and then it doesn't because <laughs> you remember that it's not a scripted game um yeah let's uh let's just take care of that chuck it down to 50. i quite like the music in factorio it's uh it's quite kind of epic but in a calm way that even makes any sense whatsoever, which I don't think it does. <laughs> Absolutely, Gary. Yeah, I think that's what I was trying to trying to say. <laughs> Let's just get this like that. That'll put them on the far side once they turn around. Yeah. supply for both of the labs to be working simultaneously, which will double the uh, rate of research, at least for red only ones. Okay, I'm just going to check my pipeline. So once I do that, I'm just going to research steel, logistics to an engine and then I'll be up for the automobilism. That's my character pacing because I'm thinking I'm gonna figure out where that tune is from. Fortification, that's it. Is that Foo Fighters or Red Hot Chili Peppers? I always mix those two up. Okay, 
guess the thing is... The gears are not happening fast enough. Oh, I've got tons in my inventory, so... Give it a hand there to speed up for there. Red Hot Chili Peppers, yeah, thanks a lot. Entirely sure what function this would serve because they would just be fueling each other and but not outputting it anywhere. Maybe I hadn't. Yes. That says I've been listening to him a lot lately. Their new album is really good. All I say new is two years old. I was gonna say, are they still releasing? Um, but yeah, I guess they were. They were up until at least two years ago. I didn't realize they were still around. I've been completely out of the uh, out of the music um, group. Thanks, Griff. Griff just said uh, that's me getting old. Set this up to the science packs. It's peachy there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's get rid of my the cards in my inventory here because they are wasting space. says, yeah, I think they're on a little break at the moment. John Frush... Uh, John has rejoined them, so I'm expecting a new album. Yeah, I have to admit when I was uh, a <laughs> struggle with that name too. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not the only one. I don't think I've ever known the names of the uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers. And now I think of it, I don't think I can name any of the Red Hot Chili Pipers either. Says apart from the last lineup, I could. I've been huge fans since the nineties. Yeah, you know, I I struggle to name any of their songs songs right now. Uh, I tended to uh, sort of the last couple of years where I was really listening to a lot of music. Uh, I was listening to sort of the genre bending um, bands, um, so like the Beanie Sisters, the Baseballs. Um, and what they do is they take uh, random um, sort of pop songs or popular songs and uh, and they actually convert them and play them in a sort of different style than they were originally. So the baseball is doing a sort of 50s rockabilly sort of way and the Pabini sisters do it in a very sort of precise harmony Anderson, Anderson sisters type, uh, type way. So yeah, I really like that, hearing a song that I've heard and, and know already, but hearing it in a completely different light, I find that really interesting. There's another band as well. Steven Seagulls. They do a uh, red grass country covers of songs. And they did a really good one of, uh, of that ACDC song. Um, Shook me all night long, I think it's called. That's the line anyway, the main line. Or one of the 
main lines in the chorus anyway. Okay, so I've reached the sort of part of my factory where it's sort of taking over. It's not too slow, it's not too fast, so now I'm not really sure what to do. And then just run around doing absolutely nothing productive. Especially when you're on the tutorial levels, it's that uh, you don't really want to invest in making things that you don't need because you're just going to lose them. So yeah. Oh. Well, that says the only band I've listened to that do that is Apocalyptica. What do they do? Do they do sort of metal type? Or I'm just judging entirely by the name. I'm thinking metal or electronic. Let me know. Cello Orchestra. Huh. Oh, but they cover metal songs. Ah, right. That explains the, uh, the name. Yeah, you know what? I'm not entirely sure I can think of any sort of bands that do that on the more classical side. Do you know, Carrie? Uh, uh, sorry, let's uh, try that sentence with a proper word order. Do you know of any bands that do that, Carrie? Or take songs and, and do them uh, in a classic full style. I know you played a lot of instruments um, when you were younger, didn't you? Oh no! I'm putting the plates on. Uh, later, I've messed up my supply line for this one. Okay, this is getting gonna be very messy, but it will work. Oh no, actually I don't need a long handle on the surfer. I need a regular one. A classical version of Post Malone in the work showroom. Cool. Now, I have to admit, I also don't know who Post Malone is. Um, you mentioned him in your Fall, your fall Guys stream, and I uh, uh, didn't want to admit I was uncool enough not to know <laughs> who they were, or who he is, or who she is. I generally have no idea. says, oh my god, I did, uh, I always talk about Puss and didn't even realise it. Uh, Puss is a really famous rapper in the US. Uh, he's really goofy. For example, he has a Dorito chip tattooed to his, to his face. <laughs> oh, uh, I guess he likes them. Why not? Not hurting anyone. But I will fully jump on that excuse that he's uh, he's he's famous in the US. He's just nobody's heard of him in the UK. Well, they probably have. Oh, he was famous sometime. I might. Amazing voice. Awesome. 
So what sort of genre does he sing? Just because of his surname, I'm picturing him singing, like, speakeasy era music. I was just thinking, Colette, um, while you were saying about the, the cello orchestra, there was, uh, there were two cello guys, you know what, I'm probably telling you guys this when you already know about it, but there was, uh, there's this video a while back where, um, a couple of cellists, cellists, whatever they're called, people who play the cellos, um, two of them covering, uh, Michael Jackson's song, uh, same song the Alien Ant Farm covered. Uh, Smooth Criminal? And that was pretty cool because they were facing each other and they were sort of playing it with angry looks on their faces. Yeah, Smooth Criminal. <laughs> Thanks, Colette. not doing what I'm trying to make it do. It is ending up up here. You know what, if it does it'll just reach here and then just stall anyway. And it's not as if there's a shortage of red ones here, so that is absolutely fine. Yeah, me too, Carla. Um, I wouldn't have known it if it weren't for Alien Ant Farm. Uh, I've not, I've never really been particularly into Michael Jackson, but uh, yeah, for the longest time, if you'd asked me who sang Smooth Criminal, I would have said Alien Ant Farm. Without a second thought. <laughs> this is it. First of all, it doesn't really rap fast at all. It's like a good junior rock and rap. Did a song with Ozzy. I didn't realize Ozzy was still looking still. But again, it wasn't really my in my sort of genre of music, so I wouldn't have known. Sorry, laughing at laughing at both your comments there. Uh call that being an 80s kid, so Michael, Michael Jackson was always on. Yeah, I was four when the 80s ended, so I uh I, I uh wasn't really that exposed to it. My parents were pretty much still listening to sort of um Motown, Motown 70s sort of music or or my dad was in, Probably madness. My stepdad really like had a record of that. And then oh, there were some road trip songs, uh, which would have been ABBA, which seemed completely out of left field to, for any other taste they had. And um, uh, the Traveling Wilburys, which were made up of like of a couple of singers that had had solar careers and probably still did have solar solar careers at the time. Um, I know Rory Orbison was was in it. Um, he's the guy who sung Pretty Woman. Can't think of anyone else in the, that band offhand. So yeah, I pretty much listened to my parents' music until I was I don't know about ten ish. 
And then, and then it was Spice Girls, just only Spice Girls for the best part of half a decade. Uh, and then I tried to listen to what the uh, cool kids of Myers listened to. Didn't particularly like it, but pretended to, so that, you know what I was going to. Yeah, I think the only um, the only Aussie song I can think of off the top of my head would be uh, Mr. Crowley, which used to constantly go into my head when I was watching dancing. Is that their is that their actual surname, or does it just sound like their surname? So what was that Griff? Probably wasn't on you. Probably. Oh well, so it so it sounded really similar. Hmm. Ray says no crazy train because pretty much every marching band in the US plays it at football games. Ah. See that's a that's a cultural thing that, that didn't really isn't really a thing here. Um, our school football teams, our, our school sports teams are generally just people who are really, really, really into the game, which is actually really few. I'm not entirely sure that there was really a league, so to speak of. I know there weren't cheerleaders. Let's say, and Crazy Team Trade is awesome. Personal favorite is Iron Man. Okay, so did they miss a trick, or did they put that into the, one of the Iron Man movies? Uh, which I've seen, I've seen all three, but I barely remember. Barry says we also played Iron Man in college watching band. Yeah, I think you I think you get one where you get like artists like that where you can't think offhand of any. And and sometimes you'll find that you actually know one of their songs like relatively well, but you just had no idea it was them. There's definitely been a couple of bands that have been like that for me. Well it says, yeah, the first one. Ah. Uh, See, so yeah, I can just I can just picture it in my ears. No. <laughs> Whatever the hearing version of, uh, yeah, I, I I can I can imagine what it would sound like. <laughs> Gary says it's fairly Eilish, over where over where you are. Um, I I have to say I think I've heard the name. Um, but I I struggled to tell you who it was. <laughs> It's got uh, it's that sort of androgynous name where it could be a it could be a guy or a woman or it, it probably isn't a band. But yeah, no idea, none at all. Who are they? She's amazing. All right, okay. Uh, I might like her. She has a nice voice. I'll have to check her out actually. I'll just make a quick note to myself somewhere. Well, it says, isn't that the girl that sung the song for the new Bond film? Again, ask me about Bond and I will look at you and the eyes glaze over. I've seen sort of two of the song, two of the movies with Daniel Craig and that's pretty much it. And um, never really was a particular action film fan growing up. Although as of last year, I have now seen all of the Die Hard movies and actually enjoy them. So, you know, maybe, maybe someday I'll give the bombs a try. Harry says, I also like her style. She wears baggy clothes with crazy colors. Nice. I like it when people just, just wear what they want, like, and not really care about what's sort of going around. I don't want to say the F word, but I'm going to say it anyway. Like, not following fashion. I shouldn't be the F word, not the other one. So, 
Okay, Kara says, apparently she does have a song called No Time to Die. That definitely sounds like a Bond song. For your title as well. Uh, it appears it was from the 007 series. Yep. <laughs> Well, I've taken note of that on the bottom of one of my uh, note papers from the courses I'm doing, so I'll, uh, you know, probably stumble across that one in about five years' time. <laughs> no, no, I, I, uh, I will try and do some studying next week with all the classes this week that I joined and then didn't listen to because I couldn't be bothered at the time. What it says, that's the one that's surprisingly weird. The movie or the song? Oh, I really want to put a new supply line in this for these green science packs, but they're just such a pain. I think I'll just, just hang and check out the chat instead. <laughs> Move the chat to the main, main window. That well, says this song, don't know the film has been released. Yeah. It was supposed to be <laughs> it's supposed to be out in April. Yeah. Well if, if they'd already filmed it by that point, um then then it should be fine. If not, there'll be a lot of webcam action maybe. Sort of cyber cyber spying. Where it says, uh I love it, I could have turned in the Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think I think COVID has has well it's 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 done a lot of things to the world, but I think one of the effects has been to notice how far ahead um things shoot. Like like things are have still been uh released over the time that clearly been filmed before COVID. Um, so yeah, it's, it's de it'll definitely be interesting what um, what happens to the film industry um, if, if they'll sort of adapt to a different way of, of doing things. It's funny, I was watching an episode of Modern Family the other day um, where the entire episode happened on one of the characters' laptops. Like, it was just her, um, you know, voice calling people, checking messages, online shopping. It sounds boring as heck, but it wasn't. It was, it was really quite funny. Harry says the CG industry has mostly gone remote. Yeah, yeah, like a lot of industries where I think a lot of places are, are realizing how much they don't need staff to be actually in offices. Uh, I think it's going to be really, I think middle management uh, is going to get cut a lot because I think companies will start to see that they don't actually need people um, sort of breathing down people's necks. Uh, I, I'm just talking from my experience, but most of my managers have been very micromanagey and, and, and just always on you as if they think that if they didn't, things couldn't get done. Um, and I, th I think, or I'd like to think that that people aren't really like that, or at least aren't like that as much as, as managers like to think. Um, so that'd be that'd be really interesting um, to see what what happens with the middle management space. I don't know what game I've been playing where you use the mouse wheel to move, but I keep on trying to move with the mouse mouse wheel instead, and and it and it zooms and it keeps on throwing me off. Actually, I know I know exactly what it is. It's uh, it's um, Ink Inkscape. It's not even a game. It's a uh, it's what I use to make vector graphics in. <laughs> The scrolling like a scroll bar. Yeah. Oh well, you know, I think that shows that I'm having fun with it. <laughs> that I'm, uh, I'm putting it in game category in my head. Subconsciously, anyway. Oh, 
Oh, so I should probably mention um, it'll it'll be in next week's vlog anyway. But I'm I'm probably going to be moving um, my Sunday stream to sort of six ish instead of two. So four hours after um, after this started, um, because uh, as I realised the other day when I was playing, the sun comes in and hits my face around two ish. So on a day of that like today it's fine and I you know I put a bit of wood up on the window just to prevent it from happening just in case. Um but yeah, being being blinded, that was uh trying to play trying to play like this and like play one handed and switch hands when I needed to like mouse on the keyboard and mouse the keyboard. <laughs> um so yeah, that's uh so yeah. Change in change in time. And uh and my blog's probably going to change um, to a Monday evening as well, um, because WordPress is telling me that's when uh, most people view my blog, so it makes sense to sort of release it around about when people read it anyway. And yeah, more people are reading it, able to read it at the same time. Because how anyone could possibly survive without knowing what I'd written about this week? Can people help? Oh, yeah. It's quite insane how far out you can scroll in this game. And then how far in you can get as well. You get a real taste for how big your factories get. Oh, then, at the very beginning of the stream I was going to make a steam engine and I completely just got distracted by something shiny. Massive fan of the second uh, second level of, uh, of logistics in this game because it means the belts are faster, but at the end of the day, the, the supply is still in the, still the same speed. So personally, I don't think it makes any difference other than for personal travel. Like when you want to go north and you just hang out on a on a. Um, Transport about. But by the time you're ready for red, red transport belts, pretty much your next step is going to be automobilism anyway. So you'll have a car, so you don't even need to worry about that. So yeah, if you play Factoria, uh, yeah, red red transport belts, not really worth it. Okay, so almost been at for an hour. I'll probably call it uh call it at three. Um because it's, it's it's quite clear to me that I'm just uh, I'm just running around, not doing anything in game, and just chatting to you guys, which is fun, but not not so much for uh, for anyone watching the stream who's who doesn't know me. <laughs> just watching me run in a square with my character. Uh, yeah, if you want to miss the beginning and want to check out that or check out the whole thing by by this evening UK time, uh, I should have it up on my YouTube channel. Um, if you don't, if you don't uh, follow me, go ahead and click that as well, and then you'll get notifications when I'm streaming. Um, I I did two or three in Pompeii streams this week, so 
it's if, if you do like to watch me playing games, uh, then uh, then yeah, just hit follow and then I'll let you know. Okay. Right, well, I've saved this here just now. From the other game, which I deleted anyway, so. I am talking to myself, ignore me. <laughs> Alright, well, thanks everyone um, for coming and uh, yeah, see you next time.